Welcome everybody to Warframe. I am the Seventh Sword and now it's time to talk about the new update that just released. And I'm specifically, specifically only going to delve into the melee right now. I, I want to just dedicate this whole, uh, this whole video to that because melee was my main squeeze in Warframe and uh, they've been touting this melee 3.0 for like a year and a half and it's finally made some decent progress. I liked the subtle change in phase one where you could aim down the sights and go back to your weapon. That was a good change. Uh, I, I personally enjoyed it. I wasn't a quick melee person. I was the person that liked to do the combos. But the combos, oh man, the combos. They were all like pause, attack, attack, pause, pause, attack, block, pause, pause, block, and all that stuff. And it was just like, yeah. And I play on controller, by the way. So, I mean, I, I like playing on controller. I know that mouse and keyboard is probably faster or whatever or better for guns. But I'm melee, like I said. I'm a pure melee build. I rarely ever use guns. I bring them with so I can level them up so that I can get my mastery. That's about it. Now, I'm not crazy into Warframe. I don't play like every day kind of thing, but I'm no slouch either. It's, I kind of play Warframe like I play Destiny, although I probably put more hours in Destiny as of late than Warframe. But these changes make me want to come back because melee is so smooth now. But first, before we get into it, I might as well just show you guys my Excalibur build right now. It's not done. It's close. But there's some tweaks I have to do because I'll get into these changes. Some of these changes that were recently made greatly affect my build specifically. And then I'm going to go into it and you're going to see why. So, we go to my Excalibur Ambra. And as you can see, intensify, maxed. Steel charge for the, you know, whatever, for the aura, which is good. You know, increased melee, of course. You got the Arcane Fury there, and that increases my melee speed on a hit. It's a chance to do that. And then Arcane Strike increases... What does this do? Wait, 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 wait. Arcane Strike. Now that's the speed. Arcane Fury is the other thing. Okay, I just figured, yeah, whatever. Uh, on a critical hit, 40% chance for 120% melee damage to melee weapons for 12 seconds. Which is really, really good, because, you know, melee. Um... Got my Umbral Fiber, one point away from max. I've got my Umbral Vitality, two points away from max. Fleeting Expertise is at four for a reason, because you can only have so much efficiency anyway. So I don't, I mean, I guess that you would want to max this out to counter, counter a, um, a negative effect somewhere else. You don't need this maxed if you're just having it by itself for the efficiency. So streamline again more efficiency chromatic blade to get my status chance up to 100 percent with exalted blade primed flow because you want that energy so you never have to stop in your ultimate and then adrenaline because you get that damage converted into the uh into wait yeah, yeah, yeah. health damage is converted to energy exactly okay and then we're gonna go to my main weapon which actually isn't this i had this out for a different reason usually what i go into battle with is the dual Karis. And on here, prime pressure point, two points away from max. So close, so close. Uh, voltaic strike, true steel, drifting contact for the combo duration up. I don't know how useful that is now. I'm not entirely sure what the changes to the combo meter have been. I am not too certain. I don't see their effects just yet. I haven't played that much. What I'm gonna more delve into is the smoothness of combat, the, the combos now, how they work and all that stuff. I've got Virulent Scourge, Blood Rush, Organ Shatter, and then Condition Overload. So these things are really, really good. I'm gonna take them into the simulation chamber, simulacrum or whatever it's called, and I'll just show you what I can do to some enemies in there, and then we'll take this into actual combat as well. I mean, but those enemies are gonna be weaker, honestly, so. All right, well, okay. And then now onto the Exalted Blade. And uh, I have to change schools, because that's there's a school I want to do that does more melee damage, but I haven't really focused on it, because I liked getting the energy teleport. That was nice. But Sacrificial, this is the this is the most lacking. I want to get Sacrificial Steel. These mods are hard to level up, guys, okay? It's just a lot of endo. It costs a lot of endo. All right, well, so you got Sacrificial Steel, Vicious Frost, Condition Overload, Life Strike, which was really good before they removed channeling. 
this was based off of channeling and I had my channeling cost down to two energy and I didn't level up life strike at all because you didn't need to because one slash would get me full health from near death because it ripples through multiple enemies. I even think just the one enemy just got me the full health. So it was it was great. Now what I'm thinking about doing is they've removed channeling. So I'm thinking about it. Where where is where is it? Ah, right here. So healing return. When this is maxed out, it will get me 11 health per status type affecting the target. Well, I have a 100% status chance on this weapon and I have two status status is on it right now. I've got radiation and I've got viral. So every enemy that gets hit gets me 22 health. I'm hitting a lot of enemies with this. This is going through walls. This is hitting tons of people and I'd be healing all the time as opposed to just healing on a channel or healing on now a heavy melee. And uh, that is a huge detriment to my build now because when I channel then I'm healing on every hit uh, but I'm good to go. With, with heavy melee I have to actually think about it and specifically do heavy hits at specific times it it's it actually reduces my survivability a lot with the channeling I was able to do it all the time I have a feeling that this will be really really good but I have to level it up to max for that to happen and that's another very expensive mod to do that but anyway moving on reflex coil plus 60% melee combo efficiency and then uh, you got well oh wait a second so that's different now. That used to be channeling efficiency. So this melee combo efficiency, I'm not entirely sure what that exactly does. I've got a, my combo efficiency is at 90%. That seems pretty good, but I don't. I have to look into these things too. We got prime pressure point, two points away from max, Vir, uh, virulent scourge on this one, and then focus energy, which is combo efficiency again now. So all of the ones that were channeling related are are dealing with combo efficiency. So they removed channeling from the game, but I know it's only temporary because they've talked about adding it back in as a Devil May Cry style devil trigger. So once they bring that back in, I'm gonna be curious to know if those mods are gonna do the old switcheroo and go back, or are they still gonna be combo efficiency related? And they'll just introduce a brand new set of mods that deal with channeling because it's gonna be a completely different mechanic. Anyway, all right, but that's you know neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the simulacrum. All right, everybody. So I have reached the simulacrum, this place, and I'm full on energy. So I just wanted to show you guys. You know, let's do a brief overview of what exactly has changed with the combo system now. So before, what you used to have to do is uh, you'd have to do like melee, melee, pit, pause. But now it's all tied to the direction you're going. So if you if this is just me not moving, this is the combo that I do. If I start moving forward and I press the melee attack button, I do this combo. And then if I hold defend, because now you actually manually defend again, phase one when that rolled out, it was an auto block, but now you're back to blocking by itself. I don't know if you still auto block if your weapons aren't out. I feel like I've auto-blocked before when I didn't have my melee weapons as my primary weapon out. But I don't know. I have to confirm that. So, pull your- but you don't- you don't also have to have your weapons out to- to do this, but I'm just gonna do that for the sake of this video because it's just a nice- it's just a nice animation to show. Alright, so when you're defending and then you hit, and you're walking forward and you press the melee button, you do a gap closing attack. And then you continue that combo as well. So it's very nice because you can do all sorts of crazy things now. See, just like that. And it just makes it really, really fun. And so you also have this new heavy slam. So first I'm going to do a regular slam. Slam! That's the regular slam, the one that was introduced in phase one, which is the nice. You can aim it and everything, which is really cool. But now you've got this heavy slam which adds in an effect like a, like it cracks the ground and you can see like debris floating it makes you feel very very powerful it also will cause enemies to float yeah and these are level 85 enemies by the way I don't have the 120s I have not played this game enough and scanned everything I barely have these guys scanned honestly it's so much work to scan for me but I mean these enemies are going down pretty quickly
And I like the juggling, actually. It's fun. Whee! It's really, really fun. One more thing that I'd like to mention is that they also changed the way heavy attacks worked. It used to be that you held down the melee attack button and you charged the attack and then you did it. Now there's also a dedicated heavy melee attack button and you can you can you can actually chain the two heavy attacks together, which is nice because before it actually depended on what attack you were doing in the combo as to which heavy attack you would do. So it's really kind of cool that you can chain them together um, and you can also just interject them in moments of your combo which is which is much much better although I mean heavy attacks are very slow and I don't know if they're I don't know I mean I don't really find myself using them too often I mean I just don't know if they do enough damage on their own to really warrant when I can just slice them up this fast I just don't see the the need to do it. If a heavy attack, I mean, I guess it killed him instantly. All right, that worked out nice. I don't know why it didn't kill the first guy. Let's just see. Let's just see here. Here, here we go. Boom. So from the front, no. From the back, though. Yeah, I don't know. That's just way more efficient to me. So overall, I mean, I'm very, very happy with Melee. I'm kind of sad that channeling is out of the game for now. I know that not a lot of people really used it, but I loved it. It just worked for my build. But I do know that it's going to be coming back in some sort of capacity. What I really love now is, so I used, it's called Blind Justice is the stance. I remember it's called Blind Justice. I like it because it has this clo It has this really cool move where you dash with your katana sheath. I'm just going to show you now. Boom that move which is really cool. I love it and it was a pain to do before with the old combo system But now it's the it's the gap closer and it's very 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 nice And it's just so much fun It's so good Because it just allows you to get in there really fast and boom the melee is just, it's so smooth now. You can do exactly what you want when you want to do it. And it's just, it's a huge step in the right direction. And I just, I, I'm now very curious. I keep doing that. I'm very curious to see what channeling is going to look like. Because, oh man, if they, if they do it right, it's going to be really fun. Whee! And the juggling is actually fun. It's actually very fun and it works very well works a lot better than I thought it was going to so I think I, I don't know I mean I was gonna run a mission but you guys probably pretty much get the gist of it anyone who's watching this video is probably either looking to get back into Warframe or has probably already played this update now I know there's a lot more that dropped with this and uh, there's just there's a lot of content that came out recently that uh, I don't have time to go over in this video but maybe I'll do more Warframe content. I don't know. This was my first real video. I had a live stream a while back, but that really wasn't. That doesn't count. This is my first, like, informational style video. So let me know if you want to see more of Warframe, and I'll definitely, definitely oblige. Because I, I play this, and I this this combat system now, like, the way they did it, really makes me want to play more. They've ch There's other things that have changed that I don't even know, like, I don't know everything that's changed yet. I haven't had time to go through this update with a fine tooth comb. And because I know they've made a lot of changes to stances. They've, I think they've changed some moves and they've added other things. Finishers. I, for a moment, I was worried because I couldn't finish enemies. But then I found out, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, I don't know if I can do it in here. Here we go. But that's actually a dedicated button now. So I'm playing on controller. So it's actually B for me because I'm playing on the Xbox controller. But whatever, there's a dedicated finisher button. So you could still do them on blinded enemies. I was worried. I thought you couldn't. But you can. You just have to hit that other button, which I think is actually good. Because now, it lets you choose if you actually want to finish them or if you just want to continue doing your combo. It doesn't take you out of the combo you're doing to perform the finisher. You have options. And that's always good when you can choose the way you want the battle to flow and pick the moves you think are best in that situation. That just makes the game so much more fun. I'm really happy with this update. They corrected a lot of things that were wrong with the first one. 
mainly like not being able to defend when you wanted to. Come on, what was that? That was weird, especially when they showed all the stuff in the, that one video. And I was like, yeah, this looks cool. And then they rolled out phase one and it was nothing like that video. This is now exactly what they were talking about before, which is great. You can even do, yeah, you can, you can, you actually have combos in the air, which is awesome. It's so great. It's not just one slash. It's, 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 this is awesome. I know they were even talking about making like a bullet jump melee attack. And I'm all down for that too. But this video is going to go on too long. I mean, I could talk about all the cool stuff in Warframe. And I'll probably make more videos now. Because it's just fun to talk about this game. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.